I'd like her to get her front feet a little wider. She's not really. There we go. There we go. Uh, that's what I want. That'll help her be a little more stable when I step up there. Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. This is a horse that just came in the uh, day before yesterday. This will be the first time that I've worked with her. Her name is Indy. The owner said that she has had a saddle on her back, but they have never been on her in the saddle. She said she did jump up on her without a saddle, but they said that she has never been on the horse with a saddle. So what I'm gonna do to start with today as I'll get her saddled, I'll work with her a little bit, make sure she's ready for a rider. And as we're going through that, we'll talk about what I expect before a rider gets on her back. And if she's ready, I'll step up on her. And if she's not, then we'll work on whatever we need to work on. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a snaffle bit on her. We'll be working her all off of the halter, but I want her to be wearing a bit while we're doing it because she will eventually transition to a bit. So I want her to be wearing it throughout the process. I'm not going to force the bit in her mouth. I'll just put it up there, wait for her to open it. That was actually pretty nice. We'll get it snugged up fit her. She has a really petite head. Now she'll be carrying the bit to get used to it, but everything that we're going to be doing is actually going to be off of the halter. I just want to see if she'll follow her nose around. Good girl. Good girl. See, she's mouthing that bit a good bit, which is why I want her carrying it and getting used to it. When I do get ready to ride her with the bit, I don't want to put it on her and then start riding her the first time she's had the bit on her mouth. I want her used to carrying it around. Good girl. Doing a good job following her nose. And I know she's going to be distracted with the bit. That's okay. So I'll grab a saddle pad and let's see what she does with the saddle pad. Her owner said that she has been saddled, but I'm not sure just what she was saddled with. I'm sure my saddle is gonna feel different to her, my saddle and pad. So we just can take a minute and make sure she's okay with it. Good girl. She definitely knows what it is. She's not worried about it at all. Good girl. All right, so I'll grab the saddle. Put the saddle up there. I'm 
we just had a lot of rain over the weekend I'm not sure what day this video will be out but it's the Monday after Easter today in the last two days we've had a lot of rain good girl she definitely knows what it is Just pull it up, make sure it's not a surprise to her. It's not. I don't want to spend a bunch of time redoing stuff she already knows, but on the other hand, I have to make sure that she knows everything that she needs to know to go forward. So even though I'm I'm continuing forward like she's been saddled before, but I'm just keeping an eye out to make sure that nothing that I'm doing looks like a surprise to her. If it looks like a surprise, then she hasn't had enough of it, then we're gonna need to work some more. Right now it's not tight enough to really even stay on. I just want to move her feet a little bit. I'll take it up another hole. Move her feet a little bit. Got a little bit stiff there. There we go. Good girl. Come on, get her to move her feet. I'd like to get one more hole. That's all I'm gonna get. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unclip the lead and just have her move out a little bit. I just want her to move. I'm not really wanting her to move fast or hard or trying to get her to run. I just want her to move and see how she reacts with the saddle. Getting a drink of water. Come on, girl. Pretty slippery in here. I'm not going to make her work fast. I just want her to walk. Go once around the other way. I need some work on that, sure. Come on. Definitely not worried about the saddle. It's pretty slippery in here, so I really don't want to lunge her hard. Kind of limited what I can do. 
But what I do want to work on is stepping up in the saddle. That's something we can go ahead and be getting working on now. Come on. Because I want her to stand still when we're doing it. No, no. So I'm going to start by just kind of jumping up beside her. I want, really want her to tip her head and see that I'm here. I'd like to get her tipping her head a little bit better. We're going to work on that before I get up in the saddle and go to ride off good girl come on so what I want to do like then I jumped she was good and then we walk whatever I'm doing if I see her get nervous I want to stop and walk off before she reacts I finally got her attention. You know that she was doing a lot of chewing at the bit. Come on, girl. When she's chewing, she's relaxed. Generally, that's kind of the thing. If the horse chews, it's good. Which if the horse chews, it is good. But she's mouthing the bit because it's something relatively new. So she's more focused on that bit than she was what I was doing. When I stepped up in the saddle, then she became focused on me and quit chewing and looked at me. So I found the point to where she felt like she needed to pay attention. So we'll bring her back over here and I'll step up on her again. Right there, she's just kind of trying to get her balance. Now she's a little worried. Give her a chance to settle. And we'll step down. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. This mud's kind of hard on both of us. It's slippery. A little bit harder for her to get her footing. 
supposed to get sunshine today. It should be a lot better by tomorrow, but need to get something done. So we're gonna do what we can. Step up there again. I'd like her to get her front feet a little wider. She's not really. There we go. There we go. Uh, that's what I want. That'll help her be a little more stable when I step up there. I don't want her head turned to the right when I stand up. Oh, she turned it to the right anyways. There we go. And we'll step back down. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Let's walk. The owners have done a good job getting her prepared. Really helps make my job easy or easier. See if we can get her to spread her front feet again. There we go. Good girl, good girl. A lot of that moving she's doing is just getting her balance. She's pretty tall. So I'm pulling on her a little bit more than I do some of the shorter horses. Which in a way is a good thing because that helps teach her how to get her feet under and support the weight. Thought she was gonna widen her feet on her own that time. There we go. I'd rather not turn her head to the right when I step up there. Don't know why she wants to do that. This is as far as I'm going to take it with her for today. I don't want to start walking with the ground being as slippery as it is. We'll plan on that for tomorrow. Good girl. Good girl. So that's where I'm going to end it with Indy for today. She's never had a rider on her back with the saddle. So we made a little bit of progress and tomorrow the ground to be a little bit better and uh, we'll see if we can progress on to walking. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching.